Some very interesting dynamics are happening right now in our U.S. housing market. So for example, for the first time since July of 2023, asking prices of houses for sale decrease compared to a year ago. Also, housing inventory continues to rise and has been increasing every single week since November last year. This has all caused the number of price reductions to increase by more than 30% compared to the same time frame one year ago. To say we have a very unique and challenging housing market right now is an understatement. So in today's video, I'm gonna provide what's happening right now regarding housing inventory, home prices, home sales, and much, much more. And by the way, before we get started, if you guys are looking for a real estate agent referral, check out my new website, which is realestateteamfinder.com. Or if you're looking to buy or sell a house in my neck of the woods, which is the greater Sacramento area, please email me at jason at meetjasonwalter.com. Uh, with that said, I have a lot to share in today's video. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. So here's the actual article from realtor.com just posted on March 14th. Just like my previous videos, I did not even read their analysis. Instead, what I really like to do is actually uh, look at their data and provide my own analysis of Realtor.com's data. So if you go to Realtor.com slash research slash data, click on this link right here. It takes you to this information, which I kind of have organized and uh, color coded for you guys here. Anyways, let's get a little bit nerdy here because uh, for the week ended March 9th, uh, again, asking prices on a national level, these are asking prices uh, nationwide or for listing prices, uh, fell by 0.6%. Again, that may not sound like a lot, but this is the first time that asking prices have decreased year over year since mid-July of 2023. So we're now in negative territory, and this is likely due to an increase of housing inventory up big time last week and more price reductions as well. On top of that, this is also likely due to the fact that uh, average mortgage rates have been around 7% for quite some time, which is sidelining some home buyers. So perhaps more home buyers are waiting for rates and or prices to fall, which is contributing to this decrease of asking prices year over year. Now, please leave me a comment below if you guys are also on the sidelines or choosing to be on the sidelines due to high rates and high home prices. Leave me a comment below. I would also lo love to hear from you guys as well regarding what you're seeing in your neck of the woods because the data I'm going over in today's video is on a national level and of course, real estate is local. All right, let's talk about um, inventory levels or active listings. So active listings increased by nearly 22% year over year. That's the biggest annual increase since May of 2023. There's been more houses for sale this year compared to last year for 18 consecutive weeks as well, going back to, I think it was mid, yeah, mid-November last year. Housing inventory or the amount of houses for sale nationwide has been on the rise due to two main reasons in my personal opinion. Number one, due to the increase in newly listed houses for sale or new listings, I'll share that with you guys in a little bit, and declining demand. As a note right there, uh, what's really wild about this rise of inventory levels is that even though uh, inventory has been uh, increasing every single week ever since uh, mid-November, the amount of pending home sales of existing houses, this is a measure of contracts being signed between sellers and home buyers, has decreased. So looking at, <laughs> looking at, my voice cracked there, looking at uh, Realtor.com for the month of February, the most recent uh, trends they have on a monthly basis from them, uh, is that pending listings uh, decreased by 0.8% despite the fact that active listings have been on the rise. On top of that, also, this is pretty remarkable given the fact that new listings increased by nearly 16%. So new listings increasing, but pending listings decreasing. Uh, this is implying that a lot of home buyers are waiting on the sidelines because during a strong housing market, if we see a rise of inventory, new listings, 
then we should see a sharp increase of contracts being signed as well. In fact, we're seeing just the opposite right now. This is all contributing to the rise of inventory levels right now. Speaking of inventory levels, according to my own analysis of altosresearch.com's data, uh, there's a gain of 21% in the amount of houses for sale on a national level, around 501,000 homes for sale, a year ago, around 413,000. What I found to be uh, really interesting about this is that even though inventory has uh, increased by about 21% from about 12 months ago, it's relatively flat compared to the start this year, a small increase of 0.4%. During that same time frame last year, this is at the beginning of 2023 through the first week of March last year, there was an increase of about 13% of housing inventory or a gain of 59,000 more homes for sale. So big picture, inventory levels were rising much faster last year compared to this year so far. On top of that, we still have around 39% fewer houses for sale compared to pre-pandemic levels during the same week of 2019. Okay, let's change gears uh, slightly here and talk about the number of newly listed houses on a national level because that increased by 15.8% from the same time frame of 2023. Besides the previous week, which was uh, the week ended March 2nd, uh, when we saw a gain of 17.4%. So besides the previous week, this is the biggest year-over-year -year increase since May of 2021 a big increase of new listings. This is also higher than the same time frame last year for the past 20 weeks in a row. So new listings rising faster from last year for the past 20 weeks. Something very important to point out here though is that even though the number of newly listed houses have been on the rise, we're still down by about 23% compared to pre-COVID levels as of February this year compared to February of uh, 2017 through 2019. And that's based on data from Realtor.com. In regards to days in the market, this is a time frame when you list your house for sale until you accept an offer from a home buyer. And it's measured after the sale has been finalized. In any case, uh, it's taken about two days faster to sell a house compared to the same time frame 12 months ago. Uh, this is a scenario we've been seeing for quite some time, though, because now this marks uh, the 23rd consecutive week in which houses are selling faster compared to the same time frame of 2023. Before that, they took longer to sell for a whopping 58 consecutive weeks. Again, this is based on a close home sale. Therefore, this is a lagging indication of our U.S. housing market. I also want to talk about uh, the uh, sharp increase in price reductions as well, because uh, the number of price reductions nationwide rose by 34% year over year. This is the biggest annual gain since May of 2023. On top of that, this marks the seventh consecutive week of year over year gains in the number of price reductions as well, and has been accelerating each and every week for the past seven weeks as well. The number of price reductions has been rising due to housing inventory also increasing, which of course means that more home buyers have more options. Therefore, there's less competition uh, amongst home, home buyers. And therefore, that's leading to the uh, number of price reductions to increase as well. But also due to the fact that home buyers are, are potentially sitting on the sidelines due to 7% rates. Whether they're choosing to do that or they're being forced to because they're priced out of this housing market, uh, sad but true. So that was a change in the number of price reductions. Let's also have a look at the share of price drops as well. This is according to altosresearch.com. The share of price drops is around 30.5%. This is roughly on par with last year, also around 30.5%. Uh, but the share of price shops right now is much higher compared to uh, the trough, which was more or less March of 2022, when the share was only 16.6%. Also much higher compared to 2021 and 2020, and also higher compared to uh, mid-March of 2019, when at that time the share of price shops was around 28%. 
All right, that was a lot of information to go over in today's video. So I'm gonna provide a summary of what I went over, but I'm also gonna talk about some other things that um, were announced this last week as well regarding our US housing market as well. So kind of summary regarding what has generally happened uh, with our housing market over the past one week. Number one, the median asking price is now down on a year of year basis. The last time that happened was in July of 2023. We're now in negative territory due to the increase of housing inventory, more price reductions, and 7% mortgage rates. And number two, housing inventory increased by 22% last week. That was the biggest annual increase since May of 2023. This is likely due to weakening home buying demand due to sharp rise in prices and rates over the past several years and a rise of newly listed houses for sale. But even though the number of new listings posted the second biggest increase since May of 2021, there's still about 39% fewer houses for sale compared to the same time frame of 2019. Number three, I didn't talk about this in today's video, but I should. Average 30-year fixed rate uh, mortgage rates have decreased by about one percentage point ever since mid-October of 2023. But because around 89% of people with a mortgage on their house have an interest rate below 6%, that was based on analysis uh, from about two months ago, based on data from the third quarter of 2023, uh, that has been limiting the amount of people listing their houses for sale and thus keeping house inventory well below 2019's levels. Um, something I mentioned uh, uh, what last week is that we do not need to see inventory levels rise to pre-pandemic levels, nor to see home prices fall. That's exactly what we saw in 2022. Even though inventory levels were far below 2019, home prices still decreased in the range of 10 to 20% in a matter of about six months. What we really should be focusing on is the rate of the increase of inventory levels, not uh, um, are we close to pre-pandemic levels. Um, so for example, in 2022, inventory increase or it doubled in less than six months. That's why home prices tanked in the last half of 2022, even though we're still well below 2019's levels. Hope that makes sense. Number four. The share price reductions is flat this time compared to last year, around 30% of homeowners are dropping their asking prices, but that's much higher compared to the previous three years. And number five, houses are selling a little bit faster compared to one year ago for the past 23 weeks. Again, though, that's a lagging indication of our U.S. housing market. So there are some potential huge changes ahead. Uh, but again, a friendly reminder, I am not a real estate market fortune teller. My crystal ball broke a long time ago and it's held together with duct tape. Any case, number one, average 30-year fixed rates have decreased by about one percentage point ever since October of 2023. Overall, what does this do? This actually causes an increase of around 10% in buyer's purchasing power just due to the fact that rates have decreased by about one percentage point. However, when you account for the fact that home prices have increased since October of 2023, uh, one would argue that uh, buyer's purchasing power is worse today compared to then, even though rates are much lower compared to October of last year. And that's why I mentioned right there, housing inventory is still very low which is limiting home sales. Number two, housing affordability, of course, is a huge hurdle for home buyers right now, unfortunately, especially compared to the past several years. Home prices have increased by about 40% from 2019, and rates have more than doubled compared to 2020 through uh, 2021. Number three, early signs of home buying demand have been absolutely all over the place due to the, all the volatility in rates. The most recent data we show that is a leading indication of close home sales in the next one or two months is showing that application numbers for people who are submitting applications uh, to buy houses or submitting applications for loans to buy houses uh, was down 11% year over year last week. The previous week, it was down by 8% year over year. 
So the year of year changes are actually getting a little bit worse here. Also, the National Association of Realtors, or NAR, reporting that pending home sales in January decreased by 9% from January of 2023, and that was one of the lowest readings on record. In stark contrast, like I mentioned in my previous video from last week, um, home sales, a measure of contracts being signed between buyers and home builders, increased by 2% year over year in January. So pending sales decreasing of existing houses, whereas pending sales rising for new home construction. However, the increase of home sales for new home construction is being supported by builders offering credits, um, uh, a decrease in your rate, or free builder upgrades. That's helping increase home sales of new houses. It appears our housing market, again, is highly rate dependent, so the data coming in is ever changing. And real estate is local. Number four, the direction of our US housing market, in my opinion, will depend on the unemployment rate, mortgage rates, inventory, and of course, the balance between supply and demand. Number five, this is by far the most important one, especially if you're still watching today's video. I appreciate it so much. Uh, but I started my channel, what, four years ago, more, more than four and a half years ago, and I really enjoy providing the latest trends we're seeing right now in our US housing market. So if you guys are already subscribed to my channel and also you hit the bell to be notified of new videos, I appreciate you so much. Um, also, if you guys want to um, uh, have more videos like these and you're not subscribed to this channel just yet, I invite you to do so. Um, by the way, of course, if you guys do want a real estate agent, agent referral, uh, check out my website again, which is realestateteamfinder.com or click on the link in the video description below. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have an awesome day.